Community housing is a key feature of an inclusive, thriving, and sustainable community and is a proud part of our community's fabric. In Waterloo Region, community housing is rental and ownership housing that offers affordable units for individuals and families who are finding it difficult to afford adequate housing in the private market. The twins were just about a year when we moved into the four bedroom, which obviously there's not too many of them around, but it certainly helped us with uh, the size and, and the affordability um, and then giving them their space as well. When I first moved in, I moved in on, on um, you know, rent geared to income. I was able to, you know, gain the employment and be able to go to market. There are over 10,000 community housing units across Waterloo Region. In addition to those owned by the region, units are delivered by a range of community-based organizations, including nonprofit, cooperative, and charitable organizations. These units can be found in both urban and rural areas and are available in a range of housing forms and designs. The range of community housing forms and designs are as broad as the range of people who access community housing. Young and old, individuals and families, long-standing residents and those new to Canada. People with different accessibility and support needs all utilize the variety of community housing found in Waterloo Region. One of the biggest things for me when I was looking for a place to live was obviously accessibility. I needed to be able to have a place that I could function in as independently as possible. The community in the neighborhood here is really good. It's very accessible and there's a lot of amenities. The mall is nearby. Uh, I can wheel to the church that I go to. The region has been really good in, in developing things like, for instance, the Grand River Transit. Over at the mall there's a terminal there so I can go and hop on a bus because most of the buses are wheelchair accessible now. Access to safe, adequate and affordable housing is an important factor in our health and well-being. It creates stability for individuals and families, providing them with a foundation for good mental and physical health and greater participation in social and economic activities. One of the things that some, of, some people in my family noticed within the first few months that I was here I was more relaxed. I, I had the security that I needed to get my, my needs met for my daily living. And then I was able to just relax and settle in. And my health actually did get better. Waterloo Region's supply of community housing helps to provide this stability to many residents of our community, creating positive impacts within their lives and providing a place they can be proud to call home. Well, we're pretty happy with it. And Kevin, when we first moved here, he was thrilled right out of his mind almost. <laughs> he couldn't say enough when we went to pay the rent. I just love my new place for six months. <laughs> my children have learned, I think, more than what they would learn anywhere else, even in school, because we have a multicultural neighborhood. Everyone's treated the same. They've got freedom to be able to play, to do whatever they want. They're outside, they're getting their fresh air. We as parents look out for each other's children. Community housing has a broad and positive impact not only on the people who utilize it, but on the community as a whole. Well, as the Director of Housing here at the Region of Waterloo, I have the opportunity to see how community housing has impact directly on people's lives. People have commented and told their stories of how this housing has been very meaningful. It's created not just a house for them, but a home. There are also some ways that community housing has impacted on our community as a whole. These impacts are seen in the local economy, the environment, and on the social fabric of neighborhoods across the community. Community housing broadens the range of housing options in the community, which is shown to help attract employers, and to maintain a strong employee base. Another way that the community is impacted through community housing is through the creation of jobs. We are impacting on the economy of our community. We are able to construct new buildings and in this affects not just directly the, the construction industry but all the spin-off industries related to them. Uh, these jobs are created for people here in our community. People are able to find employment and that's important for their livelihoods. Community housing has impacted uh, on the environment. We look for ways to make sure that we are being energy efficient when we build new housing. Where there's brownfields, we can do some remediation and use those properties. 
where there's infill projects, we are making good use of infrastructure that's already there. Community housing developments can act as a catalyst for neighborhood revitalization and work to create inclusive and complete communities. We're able to build communities where people know each other, their neighbors become part of their lives. These networks create uh, safe communities and impacts on their well-being and quality of life. Our community can be proud of the positive impacts that community housing has had across Waterloo Region. Well, I think we all recognize the, uh, the impact housing has on uh, reducing poverty, on putting people back to work, on giving people a sense of self-worth. And that really is a, one of the cornerstones of this community, I think, in trying to deal with uh, the various segments of our population. We can't always deal with the top end. We've got to deal with all segments of society, and housing is a key uh, part of that. Community housing that we build across this region is a result of partnerships. And as I said on many occasions, we can't do it by ourselves. The old model of doing things is gone. And so we really need to leverage the monies that we do have. And leveraging the money means working with the federal government, with the provincial government, with community agencies, uh, private sector individuals, all those people who will partner with us to build housing. I think we've been quite successful in doing that. This region's had a long history of social policy initiatives and doing things that dates back to the 1920s and 30s, I think, part of the tradition of this region. And so when housing was transferred to the region, it took it on as a, very seriously. And I think that reflects very well on both on the council and on the community. We're not the typical stereotype that society tends to label on people. I work two jobs, I work hard, we have a great home, we travel, we play sports, they're all into something, you know, so they're not missing out on anything, but being able to afford to pay our rent every month and know that there's always going to be a roof over their head makes a big difference for families. It's fun to be able to see a child never have to worry about where they're going to be next, what they're going to eat next, and be able to go from go to school from junior kindergarten straight through to grade six, graduate with their friends, move on to the feeder school, meet new people but still have that connection. We are proud of the impacts that community housing has had on Waterloo Region. And we celebrate the role it plays in helping the community to achieve its vision for a sustainable and livable place to call home. My family considered this place any day a special place because in that place, our neighbor is a good people. We, we have to respect the little guy, other guy. This is a special mosaic in this area. Sunny day for us will be uh, the first place when my children can, <clears throat> can run with freedom. We love this place.